The bee stitch pattern is relatively easy to do. It results in this lovely kind of uh, fabric. It's a little fluffier and it's, uh, it lays flat and it's, a, it's just a fun pattern to knit. And it can be knit either in the round or flat. Today I'm just going to demonstrate how to do it flat. The, the bee stitch is a multiple of two stitches plus one if you're knitting flat. And that means that you need to have an odd number of stitches uh, to do this pattern if you're knitting flat. It's a relatively simple pattern. It has four rows. Rows one and three are just knit. You just knit every stitch on, on the needle. I'm going to demonstrate how to do row two. Row two begins with a knit one. And then you knit one below. Knit one, knit one below, all the way through, all the way across your row. I'm going to show, give you a close up of how to do a knit one below. You take the point of your right needle and insert it under and through the stitch on the left needle. Knit it just to, and pull it off. And it, the result is you'll have a double wrapped stitch. Knit one, knit one below. Knit one, knit one below. Across the row. Oops. Knit one, knit one below. Now, if you're a continental knitter, the, the technique is the same. You knit one, knit one below. So, that's row two of the pattern. As I said earlier, row three is just knit. I'm going to pause while I knit across row three, and I'll show you how to knit four, row four shortly. I've knit row three and I'm now going to start row four. Row four offsets the pattern a little bit and the way that happens is you knit two before you begin doing knit one belows. So there's my knit two, here's my knit one below. Knit one, knit one below. And you just do that across the row to finish the four row pattern. And on row four, you will end with a knit one below. So don't be surprised by that. And there you have it. There's the bee stitch.